guys, hope you're all doing well. It's the beginning of the month, so it is haul time. I'm going to show you the things that I purchased throughout the month of September. Uh, let's see, now we'll do supplies first and then I'll do books. Make you wait for the fun bit. Um, so, I got a few bits and pieces. I, of course, have my Felissimo subscription. My set came this time, and you can see that video up on my channel. Um, let me just relock that. I don't know why it always comes back out. Um, so yeah, you can see that up on the channel. Bear with me. Let's just see if we can fix whatever's going on with my focus. Not wanting to stay. Yep. Yeah, so you can see that in this month's Billy some more video. Uh, I also got from the Art Spirits this cute little set of paints. I got the 12 pan custom set and there is also um, a video of this up on the channel of me swatching and showing um, what I think and how I feel about these paints and uh, just showing you the colours that I got. Uh, all the videos I mentioned will be in the video description down below. So I got that. Uh, let's put those out of the way over there. I had a bit of an impulse purchase. Uh, these were on sale. I really like my Black Widows. You can't buy them easily open stock. I believe you can. I think I did hear someone say you can like email them directly or something. But I don't know how true that is. So... Um, I've just kind of had in the back of my mind, if they go really cheap, I'm going to grab them. The Monarch pencils went down by quite a bit, so uh, I grabbed the set for myself as my backup. I have been collecting a few bits and pieces of stencils and things, working on improving my backgrounds. We know how I feel about it. So um, I got this Tim Holtz layering stencil and this is the does it have a name i don't know but it is a honeycomb not for the faint of heart the price on these stencils but i suppose you know it, it's one of those things you can reuse them a million times can't you i get a little bit worried by how uh, flimsy these are when they're thinner but it does feel like quite quite a sturdy stencil in fairness so maybe you know that old adage is true you do get what you pay for so uh, pleased with that one I'll put that one back in after and not make you sit through that I have a massive <laughs> obsession we'll call it what it is with um, gel crayons and I have a few different sets now and you know you when you've got a channel you like to try a bit of everything people like to see them you like to know the difference between the sets and what people can get so you can actually make informed choices um, to actually you know steer people towards different things um, and I've heard about the King Art a lot but the price on these things is actually a little bit ridiculous, to be honest. I've seen these, you know, for for the for the full forty eight set, I've seen them for like over a hundred pounds. I've seen the twenty four set for about fifty pounds, and that's a lot to me. Um, because to be fair, I don't know enough about them to know whether they're actually worth that much money. Well, the lovely Lily sent me a little link. Um, about them being on TK Maxx and you can get this 24 set for £12.99 uh, you do pay the postage then on top of that I've just opened that the wrong way, that's so annoying uh, which is like, I think their base postage is like £3 something so they actually cost me about £16 uh, for 24 so I thought, yep, yeah, I'll have that that will do um, so you will see these at some point I'll have a bit of a play and we'll do a swatch um, so I'm really pleased she enabled me with that um, they do look like nice um, crayons and let's see what you actually get in them <laughs> it either falls out or won't go back we will see um, they seem pretty much Oh, I'll be honest, they're actually 
quite full. Um, still not over £100 worth of full though. Uh, they look very similar to most of the ones I have. Uh, just a bit of a chunkier looking barrel. And we will see how they compare. You get some nice colours is the thing that I will say. Although this box says it's the pastel set. Strangest set of pastels I've ever seen. So we'll see. There's actually a neon there. A dark purple. Dark brown. So their idea of pastel is maybe different than mine. Dark red. I suppose, you know. There are some pastels in there though. Um, no blue, really. Uh, no, I take that back maybe. I'd call that's a light blue. And like a grey blue. Now don't get me wrong, I haven't tried these yet. So I might have a go with them and they're the best thing since sliced bread. And worth over £100. But I'm glad not to have paid that if I could avoid it. Especially because I do have a lot of other sets, so it was all unnecessary. Uh, they do come in these quite nice cases, but so do most of the budget ones as well, to be honest. So we will see how fantabulous they are when we try them. Glad I got my sticky fingers on those. Um, feel like I've rounded out my collection there. I had a bit of a washi tape moment on Amazon. I do like washi tape. Um, I am a fan. And I do have a bit of a collection going on. Ugh. Can I get it off? So I got this set of kind of green grasses, I'd call it. There's a few plains in there and the rest have kind of cute green forest and grass motifs that are quite pretty. Uh, so yeah, I got that set and then scrolling around I saw uh, this set and this one, this one was really pretty, there we go, hang on, this one. Um, so they have different themes as always. This was, uh, I got the purple one, but you can see there's uh, these really, like a zodiac. Look at that, lovely, gorgeous peach. Uh, this purple, blue stars. That has the constellations on. And I just thought these were... A really nice set of this purple floral one with the, and they've got the, uh, you know, the sea of silver foil to them. So I just, I thought they were really nice. And uh, it's been a while since I bought washi tape because I definitely don't need any, but every so often the fancy strikes. So books. I've not been too bad on books this month. You're going to be very surprised. Um, the first thing I've got, I was a part of the Colourathon event last weekend and Emily Illustrator very kindly donated to all the streamers um, this picture which she allowed them to then also um, do a, a giveaway to the stream you know to the stream so each stream that was watched there was a giveaway from emily uh, and this is her page which she obviously also kindly gave to the streamers so i have that and i mean where can i put stuff here we go i received a a very very um big surprise happy mail from a, a lovely viewer she did send me a card and I'm, I'm going to show you the front of it just because it's really cute. She sent me a Bulldogs card. It's got French Bulldogs on it so it got to be done. I'm not going to name her because obviously um, I don't have permission for that but she sent me this cute little book. This is Bliss, Your Passport to Calm Paisley Colouring Book and it's by Kelly A. Baker, Robin J. Baker and Marty Noble and it is uh, by Dover. This really cute little size. 
Um, it's on quite nice paper, single sided, and it's just one of those little relaxing pattern books. Um, so that was a nice little surprise and I want to thank you very much. You know who you are, I've already spoken to you about it, but thank you again. It's a very sweet gift. Um, so I received that and then I saw a big bargain, big in both terms. This was on Amazon UK I believe and it was like £3.50 so I just, I just added it to my basket. Colortronic is um, a colour by number in just bright colours. Um, so I grabbed that, thought it might be fun. And this one is by Buster Books uh, by Lauren Fawnsworth. So I got that massive cute book. Um, I grabbed uh, a Jade Summer interior design just because I thought, mm, I don't know, it just struck my fancy. I thought, have a little go and um, a try and see. So there's that. Sorry, I'm just gonna. Like I say, this this phone is uh, just playing up lately. So I got that one. I was watching. Who was I watching? I'm always watching someone. I think it was Lavellia's colouring, and she got this gorgeous book. It is um, Flowers and Girls. Uh, I cannot now remember. I got this from Book Depository. There is a book two out, but um, this is book one, Flowers and Girls. And uh, this is just gorgeous. It's um, quite like the April books, you know, where you get the picture on one side and the picture to colour on the other. Lovely paper in this fabulous hardback. It's a little bit smaller than your average size. Um, it is actually, I can measure things now. Um, about nine and a half inches by seven and a little bit. So I got that one. And I've been after the ages ago. I was watching Colouring with Elena. She does beautiful, beautiful work. Her tutorials are fabulous. And she has the Korean version of Manic Botanic. And it's on nicer paper. This is not on Amazon paper. But I just, you know, you keep an eye out for things. You can't find it. Um, I did have it in its original paper. And I haven't really coloured it because even for me who normally colours on Amazon paper, it, they're intense pictures and I, I want them to turn out nicely. So I grabbed this one. I'm really pleased I did. I think I actually got this from Amazon US. <laughs> yeah, a little bit dedicated there. My Colouring Heaven this month came and surprisingly as every <laughs> November edition, it's the Christmas special already. So um, I got my Christmas special. I'm sure you'll have seen lots of flips of these by now. Very cute pages. This one is by Mika Jelena, Hannah Lynn, Fabrica Fantasy, Zoe Sadler, Lenke, Lenka Filonenko, I think, and more. So I've got that one. And then I got this Creative Haven. This just came out in the UK um, yesterday, so the 29th of October. And this is Autumn Charm by Teresa Goodridge. <laughs> she, out of the Creative Haven books, she does tend to be my favourite. Look at that gorgeous page. And I have kind of been slowly trying to, um, you know, when I put a few things in my basket and normally chuck one of these in because they're usually very very affordable they've got that slightly nicer than amazon paper to them um so i also grabbed that one so yeah i was um rather pleased with my purchases i haven't gone too crazy this month so you know saving for christmas and all that i hope you've enjoyed the video as always if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up and if you like the channel please do subscribe if you have any questions about the items or books pop it in the comments below i always answer and if you want to see reviews or swatches or flip throughs of the books again just pop it in the comments or message me privately if you prefer not to and i will get that up onto the channel for you and yeah enjoy the month and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching